my goodness, Chauncey. Have you been taking voice lessons? Show Daddy how much you've grown. I'm so sorry, I'll be quiet, I'll be quiet. Okay, how did you get over here, silly goose? Chop, 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 chop. Oh, my, 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 Ronald. Your coat is looking spectacular today. <laughs> so handsome. I'm sorry, what's that? <laughs> oh, absolutely. Okay, I'll see you later. Hi. Oh, my goodness, Veronica. You have been a busy mama bear today, haven't you? Let's see what we got here. Yeah. Yeah, what do we have here? Oh, my goodness. Veronica, what have you done? Oh. Oh. Rush! Hey. Rush, you're there. HQ yes, I'm, 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 yes I'm, I'm here, HQ. Over. Russ, why does it always take two calls for me to get to you? Because, HQ, when I'm out here, I'm out here. Over. Uh, well, whatever. Actually, HQ, I think we've got uh, some uh, bad news out here. <laughs> Just report back to your outpost, Russ. It's me who's got the really bad news today. Hey, uh, hi, hi, Chief. Um, yeah. L listen, I, I, I just got to tell you something. Um, yeah, I got something to tell you. Um, due to the lack of funds for the parks, we're going to be phasing out your position at the end of this rotation. Phasing out? Yeah. You're fired. I mean, we all are. Uh, even I'm done. I did parlay my outdoor experience to a cushy job at Patagonia, but... Um, What's that Mox are going to do without me? I mean, the people aren't going to get the true park experience. What's going to happen? People are the problem. Let's be honest, Russ. Uh, the money that we get from the permits barely covers the amount of money we spend cleaning up after them. But, people just don't care about nature anymore, Russ. You know? Now, what was that you want to tell me? Nothing. Oh, okay, good. Is there a ranger around here? Ow. The roof is hot. This is a sad day, Russ. I and mean, I can't tell you how much we appreciate the work you've been doing out there, and I can't tell you how much the park appreciates. Nobody works anymore. This will get their attention. Please don't! Honk the horn. It disturbs the wildlife. Now, uh, how can I help you nice folks? Hi. Hi, yes. We are doing some day uh, hiking, and then we are camping out at Brightvale River later tonight. Creek. It's Brightvale Creek. The creek versus river differentiation is all about snowmelt distribution, fun fact. <laughs> right, so we are, we are uh, camping out at Brightvale Creek later tonight. Excellent. Um, can I see your wilderness permits? Ooh, what? Wilderness permits? Ah, no one ever remembers. Is that gonna be a problem? No, no, we'll just take care of her right here. Uh, can I get your names? Emma Smith Emma and uh, Paul Marsh. Smith and Paul Marsh. There you go. Thank you. I'm mm. so excited to be out here. I mean. Sleeping under the pines. Sequoias. Right, yeah, sequoias. <laughs> Stare up at the stars. Oh, beautiful. Uh, do you have uh, ample water supply? Oh, yeah, plenty in the back. Plastic bottles. Uh, insect repellent? Harmful greenhouse aerosols. What about a bear canister? A bear canister. Mm -hmm. I do not know what that is. <laughs> Sorry, just a little case of the giggles. <laughs> I'll just be right back. <laughs> it's in here. <laughs> Crisis averted. Here is your standard operational bear canister. Oh, yes. perfect. Thank you. Now, uh, bears have an, an acute sense of smell, so put all of your disposables in the canister. That includes food, wrappers, deodorant. Hopefully the non-toxic variety. And be sure to bury all human waste. 
the bears will sniff it out and they will come and find it. So keep it at least 100 feet away oh from the Oh my God, camp. imagine seeing a bear cub. That'd be so cute. <sighs> yes, a, a, a bear cub is cute in photographs and juvenile children's programming, but not out here, not in the wild. You see a bear cub out here and that means it's found something at once. <laughs> and that bear cub means that Veronica, or uh, rather the mama bear, is uh, no further than 15 meters from it in any direction. And by then it's too late. <laughs> oh, you could scream and scream and no one would ever hear you. Not even my sequoias. Thank you so much. Thank you for this. Um, we gotta go. Oh, of uh, course. Thank you so much for all your help. My um, pleasure. Wait, sorry, what was your name? Uh, Russ. It's a Russ McCoy. All right. Thanks so much, Russ. Have a Russ! Russ. Thanks, Russ. <laughs> Let's get the fuck out of here. It's all over. You're fired. It says here in the pamphlet that we were the first people to speak to him in over a hundred years. <laughs> I can't believe we're not gonna be together anymore. I love it out here. I love you. I thought that I, I would be living out my days here and eventually be buried next to you. I don't know if that can happen anymore. But at least, you know, maybe symbolically, we can always be together. Uh, can I get your names? Emma Smith and Paul Marsh. People just don't care about the truth. I don't care. Let's be honest with us. The people are the problem. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Found a cowboy grass. M. Wow, how much did you drink? M. Emma. If I was a bottle of wine, I would be terrified right now. You're okay, baby. What took you so long? Do you really want to know? 
now. Yeah. Bury all human waste. All right, P. This isn't a joke anymore. We need to find this place. I know it's not a joke, okay? This is a joke. So this penguin blows a seal. Shh. What? What is that? What? Nothing is. Do you get the feeling that something is following us? Yeah. Yes. Yes, I've been thinking that the whole time. But I didn't want to say anything because I didn't want to freak us out and ruin the whole trip. At first, I was like, it's got to just be critters or the wind, mm. right? Like, be logical, Paul. I mean, we're much safer out here than we are in the city, statistically, oh right? Oh, my God. What? What? Emma. Emma. The river. How did I miss this? It's a creek, by the way. Don't let Russ hear you say that. I'll tie you up in his cabin. Pinky. <laughs> Come on. You mean Ross, right? Yeah, Ross. Thanks so much, Ross. Thanks so much, Ross. <laughs> <laughs> Ross! Bears have an acute sense of smell. <laughs> Very old. The bears will sniff it out and they will come and scream. Scream. No one would ever hear you. Hear you. Hear you. Hear you. We are all packed up. Now we just need to take this 100 feet from camp. Will you come with me? I'm scared. To walk 100 feet? Yeah, I'm a little baby. OK. OK, help me up. <laughs> OK. Oh. I'm coming, I'm coming. It's all up to you, my little fecal angel of death. This is all I want for the rest of my life. Right. <sighs> we did it. We're really camping. <laughs> well, we need to make it through the night first. Oh. Oh, God. What? <laughs> A sunscreen wrapper. Yeah, it's a sunscreen wrapper, and we left it here. Well, at least it's not food. I don't know. We talk so much about getting out into nature and, and escaping the city, and then the second we do, this. We, we desecrate it with our carelessness. Honey, we do other things. I mean, we haven't used a plastic straw in over two years. Yeah, we recycle like everybody else. We drive a Prius like everybody else. It's not enough. Look at this place. It's freaking perfect. <laughs> I'm gonna cancel my Amazon Prime account. I'm gonna compost. Josh and Andrea, they make cleaning solution at home with orange peels. We could use one ply, you know? Russ was right. It's a privilege to be out here. I think we just need to start acting like it. You mean Ross, right? It's Ross, I'm going to be No. His name is Russ. Russ McCoy. Sorry, sorry. I just, um, really emotional out here in nature. Environmentalist Paul is sexy. Is he? Yeah. Come on, Captain Blanna. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm tired. Yeah? Yeah, a little. All right. I'll wake you up. Shit. Shit. Wait! Wait! I want to go! 
Oh, my God.